Hey, hey guys, Alex here from Hammond Ironworks, and today we'll be making a spatula and ladle kit. Now this comes from uh, Roy over at Christ Iron Ironworks. I won this as one of his door prizes in his uh, Great Christmas giveaway, Great Christmas Blacksmith giveaway, uh, something like that. I don't remember exactly the wording on it, but uh, I was fortunate enough to win a set, and uh, that's what we we'll be making today. If you guys aren't already subscribed to him, I don't know what you're doing. He's one of the best blacksmiths on YouTube. Go check him out. His link will be in the description down below. So uh, thank you, Roy, and uh, really appreciate me making these ones today. Alrighty guys, so uh, the first step to doing these uh, ladle and spatula blanks is actually take uh, just take a little angle grinder or file, it really doesn't matter, and uh, just chamfer the edges slightly. Um, because of that plasma cutter, it does leave a little bit of a rag, and uh, obviously if, if Roy had to go through and do every one of these, it would take him three times as long uh, to, to do these, so uh, it takes I don't know, about 10 seconds to do one of them. Just zip, 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 and uh, go around the bowl and call it good. Do the other one. I got the other one heating up in the forge right now. I'm just gonna be using my uh, cross peen to texture the handle up and down, and then I'll be working on this very edge once uh, this is established. So once I have this all done texturing with uh, my cross peen, I'm actually going to flip it a 180 and use this uh, kind of the shoulder of my anvil uh, to put in a crease so that your hand's natural shape uh, is more uh, apt to grab it than just a flat chunk of steel, if you get what I mean. So this is a different spatula, uh, one I actually make and sell on Etsy. Um, this is a bent that I'm going to be putting in it. Uh, most spatulas have a bent in it. Um, and there's a defined, pretty well defined spot in it, but I'm going to try to get level with both sides of the spatula, right? So it stands straight up correctly. And be taking a uh, wood mallet and smashing it over uh, right behind the bent. That way you don't mess up kind of the curve that's naturally there. Um, this will also, the curve will be naturally defined later 
Uh, as you can see, this is about 80% done. The curve isn't done on this one. Uh, it will be once I'm done with it, but yeah. I'm going to put the bend in there. in there it's not uh, not perfect but uh, it's pretty pretty decent um, obviously the side's a little bit lower but that's not uh, that's not a worry uh, I did kind of correct for that but we'll roll with it all right so next up on the docket is actually be forging a ladle now I'm doing both of these at the same time so that the same procedures can be done at the same time uh, if you know what I mean, uh, that way it's kind of more of a production than uh, one off and then one off. You can do them both simultaneously. So, I'll be trying to forge this ladle out in this bowl. Um, I've never actually used this thing. Uh, I made it, and then I've never actually used it. So, I'll be giving this a shot. What I'll be using is uh, just my rounding hammer. And if that doesn't work, I know uh, I know Roy likes to use a smaller hammer uh, to make bowls and stuff. He's made thousands of them. But uh, I have a tiny ball peen, or I have this. I have no in between. I don't. I the ball peen I have is like a six ounce ball peen, um, and that's this. That's like it's either this or that. So this one be using. super deep to make a super deep ladle but uh, this will make uh, just a fine ladle I think um, obviously you may take a scoop and a half with this one than you would with a super deep one but uh, hey who uh, I'm making it I'm making it this way and uh, it fits this bowl perfectly
Alright, so uh, I have the ladle uh, done, at least the forging of it. Now it's going to take a wire wheel brush, knock all of the scale off of it, and uh, I'm going to get it hot and coat it in uh, canola oil, which is food safe. And I'm going to be doing the same for the spatula. However, the spatula is not done. The handle is 95% uh, done. Uh, but I'm going to be forging out the end of the spa uh, spatula. I like my spatulas a little bit longer, uh, as you can see. Uh, and this one's a little bit more square. So I'm going to be trying to pull it out. Uh, I'm going to be using a straight paint to do this. And this is actually from Yamas over at ILML Forge. Uh, he makes great hammers. But I'm using my straight paint to actually uh, isolate the metal and push it away. Uh, it's going to make the spatula a little bit thinner, which is fine. Uh, a little bit thinner gives you a better kind of angle to flip up burgers and whatnot. Let me try to pull it out. So that's what I'm going to be doing with the straight beam. bevels forged in but uh, I'm gonna be taking the angle grinder smoothing out the front smoothing out the sides establishing these bevels with the angle grinder you know just making it more clean uh, if you will obviously this could be done with a file uh, with an actual uh, like you know, belt sander or grinder um, but this is what I'm gonna be doing
guys. So I got my trusty can of uh, canola oil here. Uh, this is what I use out in the shop for coating all my food safe uh, bits and bobs, if you will. So here is the ladle, right? I uh, took a, a cup wheel uh, and wire brushed off, you know, all of the handle and stuff. And I took a, a flapper disc and, and took a lot out of the inside and this back side here so that, uh, you know, it's more, I don't know, food safe, if you will. There's nothing trapped underneath the scale. And then for this one, I just hit it with the ever-living... Uh, he double hockey sticks out of with the cup wheel to, to take off all the scale and stuff and the back I actually used a, a flapper disc so and obviously the handle just a cup brush now I'm gonna get these hot uh, I'm gonna start with this handle here and then I'm gonna flip it around and make sure that this doesn't accumulate any scale uh, and coat this so that's uh, that's what I'm planning to do and actually what I might do is, is feed it in backwards, flip it around, come in that way. This is cold while this one's hot or colder. It's not gonna be cold, but uh, yeah. So uh, here they are, got uh, the ladle here, not a super deep ladle, but it's a ladle nonetheless. Got the little ladle handle up here, and then uh, this is the spatula, right? And uh, do all your spatula things and whatnot. So uh, these two are done. Thank you very much, Roy, for uh, this set, and uh, I hope somebody will enjoy these. So thank you. Uh, I don't use a spatula very often, nor do I ever use a ladle. Um, I don't cook, <laughs> or I cook very, very seldomly. So I hope somebody gets some enjoyment out of these uh, awesome uh, blanks that you sent for me to turn into video. So thank you, Roy. Really appreciate it. And uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to Roy, I'm not sure what you're doing. He's one of the best blacksmiths uh, around doing YouTube videos. So go check him out. Give me a uh, uh, link down below. Uh, he is an excellent, excellent teacher and a phenomenal blacksmith, and I've had the pleasure of meeting him uh, once, so I really, uh, really appreciate everything you do for the community, man. Uh, thank you, and thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, sub, sub to him and uh, drop a subscribe down below if you like what you see, and uh, leave a like if you would. So thanks, guys. Peace out.